Firstly, I want to say sorry. And I'm sorry for the things we simply didn't get right, and also sorry for the way that this matter has been handled. And it's no use saying that this or that was within the rules, and it's no use saying that people were working hard. This pandemic was hard for everyone. We asked people across this country to make the most extraordinary sacrifices, not to meet loved ones, not to visit relatives before they died. And I understand the anger that people feel. I, of course, accept Sue Gray's general findings in full and, above all, her recommendation that we must learn from these events and act now. With respect to the events under police investigation, she says, and I quote, no conclusions should be drawn or inferences made from this other than it is now for the police to consider the relevant material in relation to those incidents. But more broadly, she finds that there is significant learning to be drawn from these events, which must be addressed immediately across government. This does not need to wait for the police investigations to be concluded. That is why we are making changes now to the way Downing Street and the Cabinet Office run, so that we can get on with the job that I was elected to do, Mr Speaker, and the job that this Government was elected to do. Mr Speaker, I get it and I will fix it. And I want to say... And I want to say to the people of this country, I know what the issue is. Yes, Mr Speaker, yes, yes. It's whether this government can be trusted to deliver. And I say, Mr Speaker, yes, we can be trusted. Yes, we can be trusted to deliver.